Hi friends. So today we are going to be working on something a little bit different. So we were working on setting and characters and problem and solution and we're going to do the same thing. But we're going to do a little twist tomorrow. So we are going to be looking at our favorite author or at least one of mine and his name is Dr. Seuss. Oh, I love him so much. So we are going to look at Green Eggs and Ham. And we're also going to read tomorrow, Are You My Mother? So I have posted the read alouds to Schoology and you will watch them, just that way we don't have to read them here. We can just focus on the writing. Um, after that, you will work on the graphic organizer that we are going to do together. Um, and if you want, totally up to you, you can pick another Dr. Seuss book that's your favorite that you might have at home or that you might find on YouTube or that a friend has. So. We are going to start off with green eggs and ham. So I'm going to share my screen so you can see my paper. Let's see. A little here and here. And here we are. So, gotta start with my name, Miss D. So here we are, and it says, using a Dr. Seuss story, identify the different story elements below. So our book title is Green Eggs and Ham. So I can actually put this here and copy it word for word. So book title, green, eggs and ham. So now we are going to be looking at the characters. Now it has, who is this? Mr. Sam. I'm sorry if you can hear my kitty again. Um, so this is Sam, but he doesn't really have a name, does he? He's just kind of there. So I think we should say Sam's friend. So I am going to write, I think, Sam and his friend. So Sam, that's a name, so we, one, have to capitalize it, so it's with an uppercase letter, and we also have to spell it the right way, because nobody would want to spell your name the wrong way. So I'm going to write Sam and his friend, Sam and... his friend, All right, f-r-end, f-r-r-r-e-e-n-d-d. -e 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 -d. Sam and his friend. Now that's the end of my sentence. So I put a period. So now my setting, where and when does the story take place? Now there are a few places in the book that the story takes place. So let's see, they did it in a house. They also did it in a car. 
Oh, and I also did it in the dark. What kind of time is in the dark? Night time. I think we'll just say in the dark. So we have in a house, in a car, and in the dark. So I'm going to write in a house. So capitalize in in your space a house h a uh, a uh, ow like ow that hurt a uh, a uh, ow s, s in a house and a car uh, er, in a house, in a car, and, oh, no more room, gotta go down, and in the dark, in the dark, dark, Arc. Period. In a house, in a car, and in the dark. That's where the story took place. Or at least some of it. So now we are going to look at where Sam and his friend were with their problem. So what trouble does the character have? Now we don't know his name. So I'm just going to say he. What's wrong with him? He doesn't like what? To eat the green eggs and ham. He doesn't like them. So I'm going to write he does not like green eggs and ham. All right, let's do it together. So he Always capitalize it. He does d uh like octopus does uh, z. he does not not oh I need more room like that's a good power word he does not like well, we can actually look up here and see how to write green eggs and ham because we wrote it from the title and it has to sound and look right. I'm going to write green eggs and ham. Period. So our problem was that he doesn't like green eggs and ham. And now what does he do to solve the problem, to get rid of that problem? He ate the green eggs and ham. And did you like them? Absolutely he liked them. They look kind of gross, but they taste pretty good. So I think that we should write he ate it. So he ate. ate. Well, that looks wrong. That looks like at. But I'll let you in on a secret. Eight has an e at the end. Add an e, make it say its name. Eight. He ate it. And he likes it. Likes, that's a power word, but 
that's at the end. We just have to add it. He likes it. And what goes at the end of a sentence? A period. Awesome job. So we read the book Green Eggs and Ham. The characters were Sam and his friend. The setting was in a house, in a car, and in the dark. His problem was he does not like green eggs and ham. And his solution was he ate it and he likes it. So let's talk about what we like about the book. What do we like? I like the fact that he was able to overcome his fear. And I thought it was pretty funny how he just kept, Sam kept taking him everywhere and it just got weirder and weirder and weirder. But in the end, we found the solution to our problem. And now, tomorrow, when we look at Am I Your Mother, we are going to compare and or contrast. Do you know what that means? Try and think about it for next time. Be like, hmm, what does that mean? What is Miss D going to have us do? Okay, so I want you to think about that. You guys did awesome with the graphic organizer. And if you want to choose another book, go for it. Because there's so many good Dr. Seuss books out there. So I will see you guys next time. And we will look at Am I Your Mother? Okay? Bye, guys.